Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Call of the Sea. Explore the beauty of a 1930s South Pacific island paradise as Nora, who has crossed the ocean searching for her missing husband's expedition. This mix between Serene and the occult will have you searching, solving puzzles, and unlocking secrets to expose this deep story-driven adventure. Call of the Sea lands on Xbox consoles and PC with Game Pass on December 8th. Destiny 2. Destiny 2 and Destiny 2 Beyond Light get their next gen upgrades with all the expected next gen goodness. Expect 4K 60 FPS with up to 120 FPS in Crucible mode, faster load times, field of view slider support, as well as cross generational play and progression. For those of you disappointed in the delay of Halo Infinite, Destiny 2 might be your next best bet at the moment. Doom Eternal. This year's popular ultraviolet fast-paced shooter makes its way to the Switch for portable ponage as you destroy the armies of hell. Id Software has been able to get some impressive performance from the Switch with 2016's Doom, so expect more of the same in Doom Eternal on Switch on December 8th. Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. Once again, the classic puzzle game crossover returns. Play traditional Poyo Poyo and Tetris or mix them up. Clear your board to dump garbage on your opponents. Featuring offline and online play for up to four and multiple game modes to mix it up, Poyo Poyo Tetris 2 launches on PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch on December 8th. Haven. Haven is a unique take on the story-driven experience as you play as a pair of lovers, exploring a beautiful but unstable planet as you try to make it your own and repair your ship. Play solo or in local co-op and try to decide what you're willing to sacrifice for love and work to perfect your coordinated attacks against hostile creatures. Haven lands on PS5, Xbox, and PC on December 10th. Orwell's Animal Farm. If you ever thought George Orwell's 1945 novella Animal Farm might make a fun video game, well then you're probably pretty weird, but apparently you're not the only one. Assign tasks, manage resources, choose laws, and direct propaganda. Explore the themes of the original story mixed with events since its original creation. Orwell's Animal Farm comes to PC on December 10th. Wood Salt. This sci-fi adventure game with a chibi art style launches on Switch and PC this week. A thousand years after Earth was evacuated, you play as the Earth-born MC, awoken on a new planet. Talk to the inhabitants of New Terra to learn about the city, what happened to Earth, and how everyone ended up on this new planet. 
Wood Salt features branching storylines and multiple secret endings to discover as you unravel the mystery. Cyberpunk 2077. It's finally here. The epic single player RPG from the makers of the Witcher series launches on most major platforms on December 10th. Featuring an expansive and in-depth campaign with a breathing futuristic world to explore, fans of single player RPGs or the cyberpunk aesthetic should find lots to love in this sprawling universe. Customize your character V and choose a life path as you interact with the various entities and gangs of Night City to discover your place in it all and how you connect to the mysterious and badass Johnny Silverhand, played by Keanu Reeves. Cyberpunk should have hours upon hours of content to explore and roleplay for all those interested. Game Awards 2020. What has become gaming's most prestigious award show and also the place for the biggest gaming announcements, especially in today's world, will air on December 10th on all major services. Be sure to tune in to see which games will take home awards, what new games are in the works, and much, much more. With appearances by Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, Stephen A. Smith, Reggie fils me and The Swedish Chef, as well as a performance from Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder, Expect a star-studded event with lots of excitement. Also tune in for a peek at the new Among Us map and news on the future of art from the developers. The Game Awards will stream on December 10th at 5.30 Central, 6.30 Eastern. Warner Brothers comes to HBO Max. In what could be a massive change to the future of cinema, Warner Brothers announced that all their 2021 theatrically released movies will also launch on HBO Max at the same time. Highly anticipated movies like Godzilla vs. Kong, Mortal Kombat, In the Heights, Space Jam, Suicide Squad, Dune, and The Matrix 4 will all be available to HBO Max users for a limited time at launch. If this goes well for HBO, this might change how movies are released forever. HBO Max is a $14.99 a month subscription and the simultaneous releases start with Wonder Woman 1984 on December 25th. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.